pleasure to welcome you all to this all important ceremony where the Chief of the Army Staff, Major General Thomas Pompeper, will be commissioning projects in this school. It is always with great pride that I commission the projects the Ghana Army has been able to complete in 18 months. Today's is of no exception as it amply demonstrates that wherever there is a will, there is always a way. On assumption of office last year, I flew with my colleague and friend, the Chief of SAP, who is also with us today, in the company of other senior officers to this very ground, not far from where I'm standing. The sight that greeted us was one of deterioration and abandonment, but collectively we resolved to resurrect this famous training base. What you are about to witness today is a testimony of our collective effort to improve training in the Ghana Armed Forces. The Daboya Training Camp, as it was then called, was redesignated as the Army Special Operations Training School as part of the expansion program. This was after the initial construction of three bedroom accommodation blocks, additional ablution units, squad and lecture sheds, obstacle course, gallery range, and provision of appropriate logistics to support training. The Army Special Operating Training School, ESOX as we call it, has successfully trained its first batch of 385 recruits. The successful training carried out has necessitated the expansion of the school's infrastructure for the increased intake of recruits this year. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please join me in applauding Mr. Adam Saka and Mr. Momin, managers of Subsoil Ventures, and their staff for the good work done. Additionally, to these two major projects, I will be commissioning 12 squad sheds and two lecture sheds. Plans are far advanced to construct living accommodation for the staff of this school and their families as part of the government's barracks regeneration project. In the medium to long term, it is expected that this school would have grown to become a modern training institution capable of conducting multifaceted training programs for the Ghana Armed Forces. That is the vision of the military high command and through our collective efforts it will come to pass at this juncture i thank the cds for his immense support towards the rehabilitation of this school i also acknowledge the important roles and support from my dear colleague and brother the chief of air staff he has been a great pillar to the ghana army my utmost gratitude also goes to my staff at Army HQ and the staff at HQ Northern Command for standing by me and helping me to achieve my vision. Leadership has been exemplified today. And it has been done by the commanding officer of this school with the able support from his officers and soldiers of this school. This is leadership. And this is when you have your men in support of you. Well done. And on this note, I want to thank all of you for coming this morning. God bless you and God bless Ghana and make our country great and strong. Thank you very much. On behalf of the Chief of the Army Staff and all those gathered here, I want to cut this tape this morning in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Major General T. Upon Prepare on Tuesday, 5th October 2021, to commission these questions for the Army Special Operations Training School. On behalf of the Army Chief, I commission this button for the training school. I cast this tip in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We climax the tour with this event. It's a privilege as the chief of the army staff for the hard work the commanding officer has done in this school to say that he deserves this. And therefore, I'm very happy to commission this building on everybody's behalf. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, I commission this building. 